checking live data and editing parameters. The 70K in PowerCenter 1000 displays the paired devices. Online values are used to display the system time and operating hours of the 7K and Power Center 1000. The system time can be directly synchronized once with the mobile device or cyclically in the parameters with the SNTP server. With the synchronized system time, the messages and trends receive the proper timestamp. Under Parameters, the device-specific values are configured, such as plant identifier and arm limit values. Any occurring event can be called up under messages. Via identification, it is possible to locate the devices that begin to flash when clicking on the device picture. With the 5ST3COM auxiliary switch fault signal contact, Alarm limit values, such as the number of mechanical operating cycles, are configured under Parameters, as shown here. Further device-specific values are configured the same way. In the overview, the 5ST3COM auxiliary switch fault signal contact displays the switching status of the mounted standard device, as well as the measured values such as operating hours, operating cycles, temperature, and number of trippings. Tripping the mounted device, e.g. by tripping the test button or switching it off manually, increases the number of mechanical operating cycles. If the configured limit value is exceeded, an alarm indication occurs. The LED of the auxiliary switch fault signal contact indicates the end of life time alarm with red yellow flashing. The 5SL6COM miniature circuit breaker displays measured values such as current, voltage, power, energy, frequency, temperature, operating hours, along with the number of mechanical operating cycles and trippings. The overcurrent alarm is set to 10% of the rated current, which is here 1.6 amps. If the limit value is exceeded, an alarm indication occurs. The LED of the MCB is flashing green, yellow, while the alarm limit is exceeded. Under Trends, the trend of the various measured values is displayed. With the 5SV6COM AFDD slash MCB, additional limit values of the MCB can be configured for overshooting or undershooting the voltage. The cause of the tripping is indicated and can be differentiated between overload, short circuits, and additionally between parallel or serial arc faults. If the configured limit value of the current is undershot, an alarm indication occurs. The LED of the AFDD MCB indicates the alarm with green-yellow flashing. 